Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving systems of equation and we're trying to find the value of f of x, the function of x. So uh, the systems of equation, f of 7 equals negative 40 over 7, f of negative 3 is 10 over 7. Alright, so we're looking for the value of the function of x. So before we start, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Now let's start solving the problem. f sub x is a linear function. So we talk a little bit more about the linear function. So a linear function is a function whose graph is a straight line. So that is a polynomial function of degree 0 or 1. So a linear function simply means a straight line whose graph on the Cartesian coordinate, Cartesian plane, is like right here. So this is a straight line and this is the coordinate plane. So this is the representation of a line. This straight line indicates a negative slope, negative m. This point right here is the uh, y-intercept. And this point right here is the, uh, the location of the x-intercept. And the linear function is represented as f sub x, where f sub x is simply y and is in the form of mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. As I mentioned earlier, like in this example, a graph this point right here on the uh, Cartesian coordinate this is the y-intercept where the line intersects the y-axis so that's b and the slope of the line is m and in here negative slope that is slope is represented by by the rise over run so this in here it is y over x this equation simply means the slope-intercept form of a line. The slope-intercept form of a line. All right, so let's start solving the uh, systems of equation. So from the first function on top, we use that f, f sub 7 equals negative 40 over 7. We'll be using this uh, slope-intercept formula, and uh, that is now y equals mx plus b. So now in here we're substituting the value of y, that's function of x, where it says here f sub 7. That means we substitute this value for the value of x. So in here, f sub x is the same as y. All right, so you substitute that value on here, so that is now m times x, where x is 7, plus b equals the value of y, or f sub 7, is negative 40 over 7. That's equation number 1. Now we're using the second function, f sub negative 3 equals 10 over 7. Now here I have just written the function of x, where x is represented by negative 3, and function of x, that's y, is uh, 10 divided by 7. So we're using the same formula, slope-intercept slope formula. So we just substitute the value of x right here, which is negative 3, and value of y is 10 over 7. So this is now m times x, where x is negative 3, plus b equals 10 over 7. And this is now negative 3m plus b equals 10 over 7. So we call now equation 2. So we have now two equations and two unknowns. The unknown here is the slope and b, the uh, y-intercept. So we have to find those, m and b. And uh, from equation 1 or equation 2, we uh, simplify this equation to get rid of that 7, the denominator of 7. That means we're multiplying the whole equation by 7. So it is, this is here now, 
negative 3m plus b equals 10 over 7. Multiply the whole equation with 7. So this is now negative 21. 7 times 3 times 21. Negative. So 21m plus 7b equals 10. So this is new equation 2, 2a. And now from equation number 1, where number 1 was from equation number 1, it was uh, 7m plus b equals negative 40 over 7. And once again, clear the denominator. So we multiply the whole equation by 7. So this is now 7m plus b equals minus 40 over 7 times 7. So from here now, 7 times 7 is 49 plus 49m plus 7b equals negative 40 since canceling 7 by 7 is 1. So this is now new equation 1a. So we have new equations now, 2a and 1a. We have two unknowns, m and b. And we have two equations, so we can solve the value of m or v now, both of them, all right? So we're taking simultaneous equations, 2a and 1a. So let's use 1a and 2a. So here 1a is uh, 49m plus 7b equals negative 40 plus 1a and 2a is negative 21m plus 7b equals 10. That's 2a and simultaneous equations. So if you notice 7 and 7, they're the same. All we have to do is subtract the 2a from 1a. And from here now, the sign will change. So negative now becomes positive because we're subtracting it. And negative here, a positive here will become negative, and this uh, the sign right here will become negative. All right, so this is now canceled. Seven b minus seven b, that's canceled. That's zero. And forty nine minus twenty one now becomes plus twenty one, so that is now forty nine plus twenty one is seventy. Seventy m is equal to minus forty. Now this is minus ten, so that is minus 50 and from here simplifying the equation divide by 70 both sides of the equation 70 divided by 70 is 1 so now m is equal to negative 50 over 70 or simply means cancel the 0 right there negative 5 over 7 so that's the value of m that's negative slope that's what it means by that that means uh, the line is leaning towards the second quadrant so now from here all we have to substitute the value of m to equation 1a or equa equation 2a whichever is simpler and easier to do all right so let's choose uh, equation 2a to substitute the value of m2 all right so from equation 2a all right, so it's negative 21m plus 7b equals 10. And m is negative 5 over 7. So that is now negative 21 times negative 5 over 7 plus 7b equals 10. Simplifying the equation further, this is now 21 times 5 over 7 so this turns to positive now negative times negative positive then plus 7b equals 10 moving this constant to the right it will become negative that turns out now to 7b equals 10 minus 21 times 5 over 7 so from here simplifying the equation further we divide both side equation by 7 so this is now 7 by 7 is 1. So that is now b equals 10 minus 21 times 5 over 7 all over 7. The right side of the equation is now 7 times 10 
minus 21 times 5 all over 7 divided by 7. This now becomes 7 times 10 is 70 or 7 times 10 minus 21 times 5 divided by 7 times the reciprocal of 7 is 1 over 7. This division bar converts to multiplication. So that is now the reciprocal of 7, the denominator. That is now 1 over 7. And in here now, 7 times 10 minus 21 times 5 divided by 7 times 7 is 49 or 7 times 7. We just leave it that way. So in that way to uh, avoid dealing with large numbers, I'd rather use the the fact the way how to simplify the equation by just uh, getting the factors out of it. Like in here, 21 can be written as 7 times 3, since 7 times 3 is 21. So replacing this value right here, so it's now 7 times 10 minus 21 is 7 times 3, 7 times 3 times 5, divided by 7 times 7. This is now factor out 7 out of the, the numerator. This is now 7 times the quantity 10 minus factoring out 7. So we have 3 times 5 left. So that is 15 divided by 7 times 7. So divided by 7 times 7. And now from here, factoring out 7, 7 divided by 7 cancels. Now we ended up the, the, the numerator, 10 minus 15, that is negative 5 divided by 7. So that's the value of B. So this B is called the y-intercept. This is now 5 over 7, that's negative. And from here, we get the value of B and value of M, the y-intercept and the slope of the line. Now we have to supply these values, M and B, to the, uh, the slope-intercept formula, linear function, and we find the value of the linear function, F sub X. All right, so let's do that. Where F sub X is equal to MX plus B and uh, F sub X where m is negative 5 over 7, so that is now negative 5 over 7 x plus b, where b is negative 5 over 7, so that's negative 5 over 7. So this is now f sub x equals negative 5 over 7 x. This one right here plus and minus, this becomes minus 5 over 7. So that's our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.